Hello everyone, welcome to Yue Liman Real Estate. My name is Yue Liman. I am serving Fresno County, helping my clients buying and selling acreage homes. If you have been thinking about or dreaming about living on an acreage property someday in the future, you've come to the right place. Today our topic is going to be the six things you need to know before buying an acreage property. Okay, let's get started. Number one, we have a well system. So most homes on an acre and more will have their own private well. Uh, there are some instances where you can have a shared well with a few neighbors or a, a community. Um, and usually in that case, you would contribute to like a monthly uh, uh, however much fee to maintain that well. But in the case of a private well, as a homeowner, you are fully responsible for maintaining it and for repairing it if something were to go wrong. But the good thing is you don't pay for water. It's not like someone keeps taps on you uh, to check your water amount usage. Um, it's all yours. Um, so that's uh, one thing that's really great about it. Um, but the downside obviously is that you have to uh, be fully responsible financially um, and you know keep an eye out on uh, if something were to go wrong and you have to be the one to fix it. Okay, uh, so it's very important before you actually purchase a home to check out your well and make sure it's in great working condition. Um, and of course, there's a lifetime to everything, including a well system and the components of it. Um, so you just want to make sure that at, um, at the time of purchase, it's in good working condition or if it's not, that you're okay with it. Next, we have a septic system. So every household, whether you know it or not, you have a sewage system. Uh, for homes in the city, you just have uh, your waste line and that feeds into a city waste line and you pay for the sewage, uh, the cost of that. Um, in homes out in the country, uh, on acreage properties, typically you'll have a septic system of your own where um, the sewage comes out of the house, feeds into a septic tank and the tank either pumps the waste into a leach field or um, it just gravity flows into a leach field. And a leach field is something that filters that, um, it's got a chemical process to it, uh, it cleans and filters the sewage, the liquid, um, and there also is a portion that will need to get pumped from time to time. Um, sorry, part of, it, part of the um, septic sewage go, gets released to the leach field and part of it will get pumped once every so often from the tank. And there are companies, septic companies that do that. All right, so number three, we have propane tank. Uh, so homes out here usually have gas appliances. Um, and so things like um, the heater, uh, gas heater, gas stove, gas oven, uh, all of these things will need propane to, to run. Uh, so Typically, each household would have a propane tank, and the tank could be various sizes. We have, I think we have a 500 gallon one. We fill it up uh, twice a year. And depends on the usage, um, other families, if they use more, they could fill it up more often. Uh, or if you have a smaller tank, you have to fill it up more often as well. Next, we have landscaping. When you move onto a bigger property from a smaller uh, you know, a typical 6,000 to a 10,000 square foot home, you're going to have a lot more landscaping. Um, even if you didn't want to plant anything, you have bigger lot to take care of. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind of. And if you're into gardening like we are, uh, we set up everything on automatic watering system. Uh, it could be drip, it could be uh, just hard line. Uh, either way, we really strongly recommend that because it saves you so much time uh, not having to hand water anything. And if you want to travel from time to time, you don't have to worry about your plants not getting water. Uh, but it is additional responsibility. Uh, next, we have bugs and pests. So moving from a city out to the country, you have more plants and you have less people. Um, obviously, you're going to have more... Um, roaches. So different types of pests could be in different, 
there are different pe uh, different pests in different areas. Uh, where we are, we get cockroaches, we get mice. Luckily, we have some cats that <laughs> go out and uh, eat quite a few of mice. Um, but you could you could also hire a professional pest service. Um, they'll come out. Um, Depending on the need of your property, they can come out once every, I don't know, two weeks or every month or every two months uh, to spray and treat pests accordingly. Keep that in mind because the pests could cause a lot of damage if you don't uh, take care of it quickly in a timely manner. Next, we have the internet availability. So, um, in the city, it's not really something of concern. You just try to get the max max speed that you need for the cheapest price most homes have at least two options of internet to choose from out here in the country not always the case um, for years and years the people only had a really slow uh, satellite companies to go with and it depends on the area like in this area there's only this one company <clears throat> in the other side of the town they only have that one other company nowadays we have starlink and we have the um, big uh, communications company are expanding their internet coverage also. So uh, there are a lot more options for you unless you go into the really, really, really rural area. So uh, just keep in mind to check that out when you are looking for homes in certain rural areas. You wanna make sure, uh, you know, if you use internet at all, you wanna make sure you get the speed you want for the price that you're okay with. Okay, so that sums up six things you need to know before buying an acreage property. I hope you find this video helpful. If you're thinking about making acreage home ownership come true, just schedule a time with me using the link below. And let's chat and figure out together how I can help you. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you next time. Bye.